So Ian, yeah. left hip back, upper body forward, club centered, and just shorter and a little bit more, less, less U-shape and a little more, right? What shots in particular? Are we talking like just sometimes some of the some of like the simple ones where it's like you're on tight lie right there, yeah, tight and it just should be like just propped up here and just nipped a little bit. Mm -hmm. And actually, no, I'm actually good at these. Like they're more like the long ones. Like you don't, if you I don't were hang, down there. Don't you hang out with Joe Highsmith enough? And yeah, can't, can't he give you some tie spinners? Spin? Spin? <laughs> the tie spinner, yeah. I'm just like I mean, like I practice it here, all the time. A, I just put, hit it for fun. Put a ball down. Um, but like, there's no way. I'm it's just like we were doing them at the Houston Open. Hold yeah, on, let's see. I try, I'm trying to do it with smooth, ri smooth rhythm. 45 degrees open on the face, 45 degrees up and out, chop straight down. Oh no. But hey, it was pretty, yeah. it was pretty money though. Yeah. He gets him to skip. I know. It, it, and just nip. I know. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Um, how about just this, we'll start with a shot. Like I said, I know you probably okay. need tighter and yeah. stuff like that, but like what, what about like right here and then just having to land it right in here. Say you yeah. want to avoid all the inconsistency of what that fringe is going to do. Uh, Consistent bounce right in there. So what's the typical thing that happens to you on these? Is it just, are you having a tough time getting the same reaction or? Uh, yeah, I mean like it's just all contact. Like sometimes I just like. Just don't. Just don't catch it good don't enough. Don't catch yeah. it good enough. Yeah. I got you. The one thing that I would do more right away, let me hop over here in front of me. This is a small shot, and I think yeah. this is good for the viewer too because this is a really tiny shot. Any, any chip, if I was going down the hill to a short-sided pin right here, just right here, this is a small shot. So when it's a small shot, I never like to set up square with my feet. And here's why. When you set up square to your, um, you know, perpendicular to the ball, here the big thing is you, this hip is not out of the way. Mm -hmm. And you know, if we're truly, I always tell you, preset impact. If impact, impact won't be here. Mm -hmm. Impact will always be a little more out yeah. here, right? So with that said, I like to see you get that hip open, maybe drop that left foot back a little bit on okay. such a short shot. Yeah. I think you can get away if we were you know, hitting it to the other side of the green there and flying it there. I could stay much more square, why? Because I'm going to be rotating more. Um, I think on this one, it's tough to rotate a lot because it's a small motion, right? Mm -hmm. So preset that rotation, get the hip out of the way. And here's something that's important for, uh, I think, for you to know and just mentally, when you get on a tight live, say I was even chipping off this green, the number one priority is constant, constant rotation. I mean, constantly moving through the ball. Don't stop, right? I always say, don't back up and don't stop. So if the head stays forward, the upper body stays forward, the sternum stays still, and we're rotating right around that post, that's our left leg, we're gonna see the top of our pendulum is right here. So the bottom, if I stay centered and rotate, is gonna be very consistent, right? And that's where I believe you can have confidence through your setup, getting in there and saying, okay, here I am, a little open with the face because I want it to land soft. I'm a little open with my body because I want the ball to all, you know, I want my hips to be out of the way and I don't have to do so much because here's the problem. Last thing I'm going to say, if, if you get square, now you have to really <laughs> turn a lot yeah. in order to hit the shot. And guess what the tendency is not to do on a short shot? turn a lot. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is then you're going to get stuck just using your hands through here, which is to me what it looks like. It's a little bit of like arms and up here motion without this yeah. moving it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So get the hip and the handle of the club in the center of your body, these right here, and get them moving together okay. and, and stay centered. And I think you're going to find that it'll be a little easier to just get that contact more Drop that left foot back, open the hip. Yeah, go nuts with it. Just up. Go nuts with it. Just like, okay. and actually feel your upper body even a little bit face the target. Exactly. Like you're pointing your sternum out in front of the ball because the contact will be through there. There you go. Sure. Mm. Now, as far as the shaft, people always kind of wonder where do you put the, where, you know, where does this yeah. go? 
Well, it depends on the shot, you know. Yeah. I always say, here's the big thing. My mentor, Todd Sohn's awesome coach, great short game instructor, told me, stand to the handle. I love that. I can't take credit for that phrase. Stand to the handle. All that means is that the ball's back. Look at the handle moves with the center of your body. So, you know, if the ball's forward, obviously the shaft will be a little back, but it's not going to be. I don't like when people get this look. Mm -hmm. But just, you know, anywhere from perpendicular to just behind, pointed at your center, that right there is important. So I see a lot of people in between, you know, where do they go? I just like to say, keep the hands and the grip in line with the center of your body. Move the ball position accordingly. Okay. I think don't get stuck in no man's land. Either move the ball back or move it way forward. And see, that was your best one. That one was just yeah. farther back. Mm -hmm. And you had everything preset before you hit it, right? Yeah. Hit a, hit a few more of those, dude, and we'll, just, we'll move it around. Okay. And then, dude, after that, after you get set, it's all rhythm, right? Yeah. Just, just stay consistent. Just get that left pocket moving behind you. See, so when you do that, I want you to know what happens. You get this look right here. Watch my hips. Uh -huh. Like your okay, upper body's okay. back here. So what is a low point gonna do? Back and mm -hmm. up. You need to really feel like you're staying more down on top okay. of it. I think, I think a mistake that a lot of people make, and I get stuck doing this as well, you get on those tight Bermuda lies, you start hitting the ones where you're like, oh, don't I have to be so shallow? Yeah. The bounce will do that for you. If you stand to the handle, open the blade, but stay in front of the golf ball. You'd be surprised. The club won't dig if you constantly move, right? You need to create an angle of attack still. Like get that low left shoulder a little bit more. There we go, buddy. Boom. You knew that one was going to be better. Keep your sternum in front of the ball. How'd that one feel? Did it come off pretty decent? Yeah, yeah, it did. So look at that, that ball is right off kind of your right armpit, right? Just, in, just inside there, which is mm -hmm. perfect. If you wanted a higher, softer one, you'd go off your left. Yeah, that's right. Okay. But the most important thing, dude, is regardless, stay left with your body and just try to create that ideal I'm angle trying. of attack. I'm trying to find yeah. the stance. Yeah, you do it 100% with your setup. Nothing that you do to try so to do hit I down Do I still on. keep that left? I, I would, back. absolutely. Okay. Yeah, the biggest thing is like when that left hip goes back, you're just giving yourself a few degrees of just of the ability to yeah. get out of the way, right? So I think the biggest thing that you're trying to accomplish right now is make, make good contact happen with your setup. You know, to me, what I mean by that is a lot of times people just get very 50-50. They don't get their knees, their body, everything into it. You know, yeah. and especially when the lies change, every single lie changes. This is, you know, a little above your feet, kind of awkward little shot right there. And the big thing about it is, you know, you just, you have to get into different shots differently. You know, if I had a real bad lie going down to a short sided pin, you know, I'd have to really get into that to yeah. create the angle I need to, to get underneath that ball. Um, I feel like you can really control, a better player can control the contact with just really getting their setup really feeling exactly where they should be, right? At impact. So yeah. that's, that's, a, that's a piece of advice that, you know, I give you, buddy. Like when you're over these shots, I'm not even concerned about so much the result right now. It's as much as just, hey, feel really comfortable in your setup, not just how you technically look, but feeling mm -hmm. comfortable. Feel like you already know where impact's gonna be. Okay. Yeah. And just keep a good rhythm. Jeez. Still, still too shallow, right? Yeah. It's too scoopy. Like really feel like you're putting the back of that club into the ground. That was different, right? Yeah. So like those higher, softer ones that you want to get, like do you want it like really spin and stuff or just have land soft? You open the face, put the ball forward, but don't do the scoop, right? Just do the yeah. straight, like let, hit down, but let the back of the club, look at that. That's on yeah. the green, I'm still hitting down but the back of that club isn't making, you know, doing any damage. There you go. That's, that's what you need to hear, what you just did right there. Close. I still scooped that one. Yeah, you can feel it, right? Yeah. Okay, 
Here's what I want you to do. You got, almost got it, but I just want to show you one last thing. Okay. I think it's going to put it over the edge. Think about ping pong. <coughs> if I was playing ping pong, would I, would I really spin it with like, or would I be better if I just kind of went, yeah. right? I mean, kind of, you know, I'm just trying to say like, this could be dangerous, guys. This is like the first chip I've hit in like 17 days. You know what I mean? But like, look at this. Just you get in there, you lean. Like, I hit that a little hard, but did you hear the yeah. contact? Yeah. How much better that was as far as like the, that compression mm -hmm. sound, right? Yeah. So the whole point is, the whole point is I think that if you do that, and you know, I would have scaled that down to a degree there that you would have found that that would have been the perfect shot you need. I just watched those swings, dude, and they just get like this. Kind of long. And then kind of up into it, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Here, hop down there. Let's go do that one one more time. All right. And then we'll go to the front of the green. So, Ian. Yeah. Left hip back, upper body forward, club centered, and just shorter, and a little bit more, less less U shape, and a little more. Right? Yeah. Where, where was that? Shorter, like real short. There you go. I want to see you just hit a couple like that. And then. Put this bad boy like right here, okay? So you have to kind of miss that in both directions. There we go. That was it. Yeah, that was nice. That was it. Yeah. I mean, dude, it's just getting the, it's getting at the right length so you can have the right rhythm, and then finding you know the setup to create the angle of attack. There we go. That's so much better. Good miss. Good miss, right? Yeah. Yeah. How nice is it out here right now? That was a little long. What's that? It yeah. was a little long, you feel it? But dude, you're just gonna tighten it up. Like just yeah. set up, tighten up, swing, tighten up. But like, do you see the cluster now though? Yeah. At least like the consistency of the shots. I mean, the main thing is I like to always remind people the main, the main goal is still to get it up and down, yeah. not to just like, yeah. you know, necessarily sauce the thing. But I think the biggest thing is if you watch these two swings, and Gabe, zoom, zoom in on these swings. I see this a lot. I see people really get long, mm -hmm. and then you don't have the ability to rotate because you're long. So, you know, you get the long and kind of that look right there, and that's where bad contact comes from, right? Yeah. But then, you know, the ability to just stay very... See how crisp that comes off right there? I think that's important. So yeah. hop, hop in there, and if I want, you know, you want that to spin more, just open the face, do the same thing. Okay. Dude, Ian, these greens are legitimately four feet faster than when I left. Really? <laughs> like two, three weeks ago. It's unbelievable. This is still slower than like the course I played in Texas. Was it like unbelievable? We were running like 13s. Oh my gosh. It was dude. so pure. Isn't that fun so though? Pure. Huh? I think it's so much fun. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah. it's, just, it's, just, it's just a real bummer yeah. when the wind starts blowing and you're just like, mm -hmm. man, it just makes those downhill putts like really tough. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.